Why can't we have nice things? Why can't, for once, Nintendo just love us? So, you know, let's complain. Uh, let me know in the comments below about how Nintendo personally ruined your life. But, you know, in reality, Nintendo gives us lots of nice things all the time. I should say, sells us nice things all the time at a pretty good frequency, but you know, I wouldn't be a fanboy if I didn't complain about the negatives and the video wouldn't be very interesting or full of drama if I didn't bitch and moan a little bit. That said, I would have loved to have this unreleased color for the Game Boy Advance. Nintendo never gave it to us. It seems to be a take on the Game Boy Color berry colored variant, which was released, but this one, not so much. You know, it's an odd thing when it comes to Nintendo and variants of their consoles and different colors. You know, sometimes it's obvious, like the Hunchin Tigers GameCube, you know, that came out only in Japan. It was a local sports team, baseball team. Nobody would know or care about that here in the US or anywhere else. I mean, we barely care about the Detroit Tigers as it is, so the Hanshin Tigers, eh, you know, obviously didn't make sense to release that internationally. But then there's the Pumpkin Spice GameCube that was released only in Japan, and uh, really no reason it wasn't released here, just, it just wasn't. Beautiful machine, looks great, just wasn't released here. Then there's the dev equipment. I've had many people comment on my videos over the years about how they would have loved to have this sort of greenish, tealish color of GameCube released for retail, or the beautiful reddish color for the NPDP reader would have looked great on a retail unit, but alas, they saved that for their dev equipment. But then we have colors that just kind of didn't make it anywhere. You know, I recently covered the Space World Game Boy Color Atomic Purple version and previously the Silver with Orange Button Space World variant of the Game Boy Advance, and all of those Space World colors from the year 2000 were never released. My best guess is that these color combinations didn't get released because they kind of looked like toys. They were very loud, contrasting colors, you know, like a play school toy, basically. I think Nintendo was trying to appeal to the teens and young adults that had grown up with the SNES. You know, the Game Boy Advance was often thought of as a supercharged SNES, and maybe that wasn't really a fair comparison, but a lot of people thought of it that way, even today, but especially at the time. And there were also a lot of SNES re-releases for the Game Boy Advance, which were awesome to have, but it probably didn't help that comparison very much. So I think Nintendo wanted to sort of cater to a more mature audience. And by mature, again, I mean sort of like teens and 20-somethings. When the GBA came out, I was in early high school. I had grown up with the SNES uh, in my earlier days, the NES, and of course the N64. And I was very much an early teen trying not to be a kid anymore. And I think that that was sort of what Nintendo was focusing on in terms of their color variations. I mean, case in point, just take a look at the Game Boy Advance SP. It looks like a mini laptop or like a Palm Pilot or something like that. Which brings me back to the Berry Game Boy Advance. So gorgeous, this nice berry red, and the contrast with the light black on the sidings, L and R, A, B, and D pad just looks fantastic. And then you have the start and select button, which are sort of a mint color. It adds a nice additional bit of contrast to the machine. But again, probably too loud, probably too kiddish for Nintendo at the time. And on the back here, we have TS4, which we think maybe was in relation to a trade show. So perhaps it was shown off at a show and that's it. And in case anyone's wondering, this has the retail BIOS and the normal boot up. Either way, just another example about how Nintendo ruined our lives by not giving us another color variant. And really this, is, this has to end. But for real though, this would have been pretty neat to have, despite uh, it just not being meant to be. A big thank you to Gaming Legend 64 for sending this over and also sending over the Space World GBA unit that I have somewhere <laughs> back there. Really appreciate it. Make sure to check him out on Twitter. He's always posting about his various prototype uh, discoveries and beta discoveries. It's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to his Twitter in the description below. And if you like this type of content, make sure to follow us, subscribe, 
subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, join us on Patreon if you feel so inclined. But aside from that, I appreciate you all watching and we'll see you next time. Uh -huh.